Hey everybody, this is Brandon. Today we're going to go over one of the elements you're able to download inside of Open Element. Um, these are free to download. They each offer uh, different tasks that you're able to do. But what we're going to go over today is the Al Responsive uh, Carousel. Um, there's still a lot I'm trying to figure out on this thing. It's pretty complicated but initially when you place it out you'll have an option to let's see where is my image there it is you go into here you'll add in all the different images of what you're wanting to show in the carousel and again if you wanted to change that you can come in here to properties go to image list and then select right here next to collection and then you could add the add or delete photos out of it um, <coughs> So you could change whether it's next or previous. So you could that's what it says on the actual buttons. Now if you wanted to, you can make it arrows like this. So that way instead of actually saying next or previous. Alright, um Again, resizing a, a lot of the, these at the beginning are very common. They're same thing on most of the others. Here's the autoplay delay. This delays in milliseconds between two images. And see, anytime you come down here, you could select, you can read what the selection does. And so that way, if you're ever confused, you read here. Here's a brief description of what the option does, so you could set everything up the right way. Now. We're going to go over the navigation buttons so we can change the colors on those. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not a real easy process, but I'm able to. So whenever you first look at it, let's take a preview real quick. The buttons are hard to see. They're very dark. You know, and plus it puts five images wide. Personally, I don't like that. It depends on what the function of what you're trying to do for the um, for the whole view. Now as you can see you can also grab it and slide this one and so that's one of the reasons it's a responsive carousel. But you could also when you go into here select one image. So you can hit single image. So what it does is it only has one picture at a time. You can go through and select all the different ones and check them all out. Um, so that's another option that you have. Now this right here, this depends on the width of your browser. If you're using a tablet, it's 480 to 769. If you're using a small desktop, 769 to 980. You know, if you're using anything under 480, it's just going to be mobile. And this shows it's going to have only one image wide. If you did not have single image selected this you can limit how many images why it selects based off of the screen width um, but let's go ahead and get into actually changing the color of the buttons like I said it's not the quickest or easiest process but what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to create it's going to open up uh, element editor you open the element. Now it's not going to say out. Oh, right now it's the only one I have downloaded. So here's the file. It may have the same file name. It may not. I think they're all the thing. Once you download it's going to be that file name. But that's how Open Element recognizes the element itself. You'll open up all these tabs. <coughs> now you come over here to scripts. Go to the drop down menu. Select CSS and Al theme. Now what you could do is in here is where you're going to change out the colors. You see, here's the color. This color right here on line 14 represents the the styling of the next and previous buttons. So this color is for the actual wording of next. This background is the um, color of the background of the button itself. Now these are just numbers, and I do understand that, but the best way to figure out what color you need. What I did is I came into here, selected this real quick, and pulled up this. Go through and say I wanted to have 
a blue wording over a red background. And so we'll take this number, copy that. I was going to do blue lettering with a red background. So we're going to delete and control V. So we'll paste that color right into there. Now we'll come back over here. We'll do That'd be good. So we'll select that, copy that, come over to here. Now once you change this, it's going to change all of them. You know, so every one of these that you put in, it's not going to be one's green or the other one's, not unless you make a whole new. And you can actually hit save as and save it as a whole new um, element as well. So you can have two of them, both with different colors or three or four or however many you want to make and see this is where all the coding goes in so you could set uh, set the font size you could set the border radius you know all of this is pr you can set right inside of here you can retype it out and so now with those two changes we'll save this real quick save successful and apply the changes now when we go into preview it's got the red background with the blue buttons but this is still that light gray color now it fades out whenever you're deselected off of it and so you may want to take that into consideration before you select the colors but what we'll do is we'll change those buttons to a I don't know let's choose a random color bars there so yeah, we'll do yellow. Or a puke yellow. Yeah, why not? Copy. So we'll go back into here. And see, this is actually a whole other window. So you can come in here and go back and forth and change all this. But let's see. Where is the other background? Ah, there we go. This right here is going to be the actual buttons. <clears throat> so line 53 pertains to the, should pertain if I'm not mistaken, to those bullets that show right below the picture. Yes, they do. And so that's how you change the colors of those different buttons. And if you know coding, like I know pretty much nothing about coding. So all this I'm trying to figure out as I go. But um, so you can change the color of the numbers if you have the numbers turning on, you know, for that numbers, the images. What other colors can you change? That looks about it. For the colors of the theme. Now let's take a look. Carousel. I'm still trying to figure out how to create um, links out of each of the images. But like I said, I don't know coding pretty much any, at all so once I do finally learn coding well finish learning coding I, I've, I'm only on HTML I haven't even begun to work on CSS so I don't know CSS coding yet but you could tell you could go through here and there's a if you know what you're doing you could really change the element or do whatever you want with it but yeah, I just wanted to make this quick tutorial on how to change the coloring of these, the next button, previous buttons, and a few of the options that you could do. 
now later on I'll be making a new uh, tutorial on this once I figure out more and figure out how to make the images links themselves but until then happy building